And so uh, there's obvious now uh, we see that there are people uh, working in the state that uh, are not that are illegal in nature. And so we need to make sure that we've got a workable guest worker program and that we've got uh, functioning uh, systems that people can uh, are predictable for employers and for the employees. And uh, that's, that's an important piece of what we need to do here uh, going down the stretch. Mr. Gannon? Uh, I think what we see is a failure uh, from Washington, D.C. to get meaningful immigration reform done. And I think Iowa farmers, Iowa businesses want to do the right thing. Uh, we should give them the tools so that they can. And, but that takes probably some legislative changes. There are about 20 states that require the use of E-Verify, mm -hmm. uh, a smaller number, smaller number that require it for private businesses as well. Is that something Iowa should examine, well, requiring E-Verify? Yeah, I, I think it absolutely can be, can be discussed. But again, remember that it does not address, it, it, will, it will not address the larger labor issue that we do have. And that's, again, can we, do we have a functioning, predictable system? If we start to enforce our laws uh, that we have on the books, then we will, uh, what we will likely see is more folks wanting to use a guest worker program, right? That's logical. That means we have to have a system that functions. That means that when employers go into that system and they, they want to use that, uh, that status, that they can and that it's predictable. So, uh, yes, I think look at E-Verify, but again, we've got to have a, uh, a guest worker program that, that functions. And, and, and speaking of uh, penalties for employers, mm -hmm. is that also something that... Absolutely. If, if, we have, if we have people knowingly employing illegal uh, uh, workers, uh, there should be strict penalties for that. Mr. Gannon, same question. How do you uh, absolutely. The, the, anyone who's breaking the law, whether it's the employee or the employer, uh, should face penalties. And I, and I think that if E-Verify is the system that makes the most sense uh, to give employers that uh, certainty that what they're, the person they're hiring is here legally and, and as far as they can check out, uh, they have that certainty, then that's what we should encourage people to use.